With the movie on its way, the time that I'm making this video, I thought, why not give my recommendation on the king himself? Black Panther is a badass, if you didn't know that, by the way. A king who runs his own country while also occasionally saving the world every once in a while with the Avengers. Also, his suit is just badass. One of the coolest, most simplest designs out there. So when it comes to his comics, you're wondering, where can you jump on? Where do you begin? Today, I'm going to recommend a jumping on point for both his runs and his standalone titles. Let's go. Easily the longest run for Black Panther by a single writer and also, in my honest opinion, the best. Christopher Priest gave new life into the king. Best part about this run is that you don't even need to know anything about Black Panther prior to reading this to fully enjoy it. While the king, you know, might come off as kind of just a badass who doesn't say much at first, it's when you get deeper into the run and the storyline and the confliction between the king and his personal thoughts and his kingdom is really awesome. On top of that, you get a lot of cool scenes with the Avengers through this run and plenty of Wakanda, which really is a part of the king himself and what makes him so different. While there are other solid runs, a big one being Coates' news run, I feel that you need to know a lot about the history of Black Panther to really enjoy it. Christopher Priest is easy to get into, it just starts off different and wonderful, and it's great now because it's in the Ultimate Collection series, which is basically collecting anywhere from 10 to 15 issues in a single book. So to me, Christopher Priest's run is where you're going to have to start Black Panther 100%. My first recommendation for a standalone is Who is Black Panther? What an appropriate title, huh? This is a great little six issue story that'll get you all caught up on the king himself. It's self contained, it's well told, and also it's a really interesting look into the mindset of the king as well as his country, which of course is a huge part of his character. It's also pretty funny at times. Now, you can read more of um, Hudlin's, I believe his name is, run after this, but you could just read this and feel complete, and it's just fun as heck. <laughs> My second title that I would recommend is Black Panther Secret Invasion, or another title for it is See Wakanda and Die. Jason Aaron, who you probably know is right now writing Southern Bastards or Thor, and he gave us one of the most batshit insane fun little three issue comic called See Wakanda and Die. During the Secret Invasion event in Marvel, the Skrulls are trying to invade the world and they go to Wakanda. Now you know Black Panther isn't going to let that shit fly, so he decides to murder anything coming in his way to his precious land. It's both filled with great action and fun dialogue, and while very short, it's highly entertaining and can be read all on its own. Even if you don't like Secret Evasion, all you have to know is Skrulls are coming into the Wakanda land, and Black Panther doesn't like that. While I love the character of Black Panther, some of his best stories are actually contained in the pages of the New Avengers and Avengers title by Jonathan Hickman run. However, we'll get to that in another list, more like team list. The one that I listed here are perfect starting points if you want to read some enjoyable standalone stories or if you really want to get into a long run. That's a ton of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video a lot and again, if you have any questions about these stories, just ask me below. I put them in the info bar to buy. And everybody, have a good day, and please like and share this if you enjoy.